In today's video, I'm going to create a new print of this quite tricky landscape and I'm going to do it using viscosity technique and with a bit of monotype. <laughs> So when I first took this photograph and I was walking uh, on a walk on a beach in Norfolk, I absolutely love this photo and the reason why I do is because it has, it's really moody, it's got these incredible reflections, colours, I just love it. And you could probably do it in watercolours quite easily, but I thought it would be an incredible challenge to do it as a print and I thought about it a lot I thought uh, perhaps I should do two plates but actually what I thought I could do is doing a viscosity technique with a combination of monotype but just using one plate so I'm planning to cut so this is my board and I stuck the picture to it, um, flipped horizontally um, on a piece of see-through paper. And then I've got just a little bit of newsprint underneath. And I've got a carbonated paper. So I'm going to draw on it just to do all my dark shapes. So I'm going to start with the dark shapes because I'm going to cut them out. And... That's when all the darkest areas that will trap my sepia ink will be. And then I'm going to apply with a big roller a varied blue sky. And using wiping technique, I'm going to try to achieve these clouds. Maybe a little bit of here. And then with a hard roller, I'm going to go over... I've got a smaller roller. I'm going to go over just this part here. I'm going to try not to make a wobbly horizon. And <clears throat> I'm going to make these sand areas stick out. Probably do it with polyfiller. So I'm hoping this hard roller is going to catch all of those uh, areas, raised areas that I've done with polyfiller. So that's the plan. Whatever it's going to work or not, we shall see. I hope you enjoy the process. adding a bit of polyfiller, actually a mixture of 50-50 polyfiller and glue to the foreground to give a bit of texture. Here I'm adding just wood glue on its own and it's just to give a bit more interesting texture within the dark areas. And I'm using a grinder here just to um, grind down all the bits that are sticking out.
And finally, after shellacking, varnishing my plate and running it for a proof print in uh, my press, I'm here inking up and wiping off just all the dark bits of the print. And here comes the hard roller with more viscous ink for the sand in the foreground. And now the big roller with sticky ink for all the blue areas. As you can see, the brown ink has repelled the blue ink because it's more viscous. And now it's time for a bit of monotype painting and wiping off for the clouds. In my final print, I have mellowed the clouds a little bit with a paintbrush uh, as a touch-up. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.